is Bethany and I'm here today at the Children's Museum of the Upstate with Jamie here and we're in the Sparnberg location so if you don't recognize where we are you can see we're in Sparnberg and this place is perfect if you have young children like sure. it's the best place to go around here if you have small kids absolutely I mean, like, they have like a place where you can put your baby and they can't even get out they can't get out and it's a great space for tummy time so even our youngest ones, that's a soft space. If they're just starting to crawl or walk, they've got little areas where they can pull up, but it's, you know, some padding is in there, so it makes it safe. It's so nice. But that's not what we're here to talk about mainly today, because we want to talk about an exciting event that's coming up that is something that is one of our favorite events of the year, and that's Countdown to Kindergarten. Yes, ma'am. So tell us, what is Countdown to Kindergarten? Countdown to Kindergarten is a free community event that we hold um, right out in front of the museum in Spartanburg on Magnolia Street, and it is focused on families who have rising kindergartners. Whether that's 3K, 4K, or regular kindergarten, we invite them to come down and check out some activities that we have here in the museum that our staff will be facilitating, but also get access to a bunch of different community vendors who are focused on student success and helping these families get ready for school. In fact, I'm going to be here myself, so if you come, you need to come by and say hello. So, and how much does this event cost? It's actually free. We have free. got it's free. Free. We have got incredible community sponsors like Kidding Around. We've also got AFL, Purpose Financial, Spartanburg Water, Spartanburg County First Steps, and Spartanburg Regional Healthcare System Foundation as our main sponsor. Um, so we are absolutely thrilled that they are allowing us to have this event for free. Um, so we invite everyone who's got a rising kindergartner to join us on August the sixth from six to eight p.m. on Magnolia Street. Yes, it's an awesome opportunity to help get your kids excited about school. Can you tell us a little bit what fun things will you be doing here to help the kids get ready for school? Absolutely. So we're going to have a school bus here so kids can practice getting on and off the school bus. Since when they start school this year, it may be the first time they're experiencing that. We're going to have a little faux lunch line set up so kids can practice going through the lunch line. We'll also have a lot of our museum activities like our Imagination Playground, Big Blue Blocks will be out, our Rigamajig engineering set's gonna be out, as well as a bunch of different crafts and stuff. Things that kids can start to use to think about what those first days are gonna be like in kindergarten and how they wanna introduce themselves to their friends. And of course, we'll do a special story time um, about first day jitters um, and some ways that we can um, combat that as the kids get started in school this year. And I really love that because as exciting as it is to start school, it can be really scary. So this is such a great way to let your kids get on the school bus without waiting until that first day of school when they may be just too nervous to do it. Right. So we highly recommend that you come. Now, what if it rains? If it rains, we're going to bring most of the activities inside. Um, again, we've got our space here in the museum where we'll be doing a lot of crafts, our special story time, and then we will have a tent out on Magnolia Street that a lot of our vendors will be under. So it is a rain or shine event. We'll put a tent in place and make sure everybody stays mostly dry. But if they do call for rain that day, come on down, bring your umbrellas just to be safe, but we will still have everything going on and same amount of activities and same amount of fun. And again, just to recap, if you're just coming on this event, it's for our rising K3, K4, and K5-year-old students to get them excited about school, and it is free. So that means you'll even be able to come at the museum for free. That's so, right. Like Jamie was saying, if it's raining, you can still come and have fun. So I know that you do have another event going on in Greenville. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Sure. The Back to School Bash is going to be held on August the 14th at our Children's Museum Greenville location in downtown Greenville on College Street. This is a ticketed event, um, so it's gonna start for $25 for a family of two and go up from there with family pricing. But you are gonna get incredible access all day in the museum. You're also gonna have access to a lot of different vendors. Drum percussion studios, the Greenville YMCA, um, and there's gonna be awesome food trucks there, and that is always the key to a successful event if you've got delicious <laughs> food and it's certainly going to be things that the kids are wanting going to want to do with Kona Ice and um, Batter Up Cookie Dough Company so I'm going to probably be at that event too. <laughs> That's very true and you have children having food is a huge thing that makes everything more fun and <laughs> you can last a lot longer. 
So we love that event too that's coming up. I'm gonna drop a link in our comments once we're done here on the live, but you can also go on TCMU's website yes. and access the registration for that event. Because are you recommending that people go ahead and register yes, early? Yes, definitely advanced ticket sales are gonna be the key to getting the right time slot that you want for that event, as well as going ahead, going ahead and having tickets for your family group. Um, and like I said, that access at the museum is going to include all of the different vendors that are focused on back to school student okay. success, but also that access so you can play in the museum all day. Well, we are so excited about these two events and I hope you'll get your kids and come out here because this is gonna be a great way to get your kids excited about school starting, which we know can sometimes be hard. Exactly. And to really <laughs> celebrate the beginning of a new school year. For sure, and again, with all of our community partners, these are resources that are gonna help both the students and the parents. So if you have any questions, this, these are the events to come and ask those questions. Um, we want to make sure that we are providing all the resources to make sure your student starts off this school year in the best way possible.